And if a lot of the preparation for the Saris has already been done, that kind of suggests changes. Is it a little bit almost like a Lions tour at the moment where you're almost running two teams simultaneously? You've got a midweek team and a, a weekend team. Yeah, I mean, it, it is very much like being on tour. It's, um, it's thick and fast and, you know, today we've wanted to sort of review what's gone before and then preview what's coming and um, you've got to find the balance there of, of how long you have the lads sitting watching um, footage and, and moving on quickly. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, there is a bit of a tour mentality. It's, it's let's move on, let's move on, let's, you know, control and focus on the bits we think we can make good shifts in without overloading information. Obviously, as a new coaching team, there's... There's loads of stuff we'd love to go over and over and have the time to train, but unfortunately, um, the way it is, you've, you've got to pick your little bits, move on quickly, and you know we'll review it when we get a chance to breathe and, and take a real good look at things. We'll do that. And of those coming in, we understand Henry Trinder's one of those coming in. Um, how good is it to have someone of his talent to you know, you'll have faced many times yourself? Yeah, it's good to see Henry back on the field. You know, he's um, he's trained really well. Actually, he just had a small niggle that kept him out of um, possible selection for the first couple of games. But yeah, it's really exciting to see him back on the field. I'm, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing his energy. And obviously, he's he's a Gloucester stalwart, and it'll be it'll be great to watch him play. And a few other changes as well. Have you got players who are sort of, if you like, chomping at the bit to get in, having you know, largely, what was it, 13 of the 15 starters were the same across the first two games? Yeah, we, you know, we've got lots of lads here who, who are desperate to play and they've trained really well and um, everyone's presented themselves well and it, it has proved a little bit of a headache for, for this Wednesday as to, you know, who we put on the field and how we rotate people and, and give people opportunity. But... Um, yeah, I'm excited for those who will get their opportunity. I'm, I'm really excited to see them play because, as I say, they've presented extremely well in training and, and shown to be um, really good lads. And Saracens have lost a few players, obviously, but have they still got that same mentality, that Wolfpack mentality they've had for so long? Yeah, they, they do. Look, obviously, Saracens are a serious outfit, and the trophies, you know, in their cabinet speak for themselves. And I think. Uh, on the weekend, Quinn's had them under a bit of pressure at stages, but you know their strength and, and the way they play and, and their sort of relentlessness on the way they play shone through in the end. And um, you know they're a very very hard team to beat. And you know even though you know roughly what's coming, again it's they just do it so well and they stay on top of you and, and they don't give you an inch. So um, I don't think the changes and the loaning of players and, and all that sort of thing will, will affect Saracens the way they play and and how focused they are on doing their job.